about two weeks ago, I tried out for the Arizona Rattlers and it's clear that I have unfinished business. Stick around for this whole video because I'm gonna show you guys uh, some clips from my Rattlers tryout as well as just a, a little bit of a rundown from what I've been working towards and what I'm planning on doing going forward. Hit that like button and subscribe to Cap Training. That would be greatly appreciated. And let's get into it. If you guys don't mind going back with me here to high school, I had an okay high school career. Um, it was clear that I didn't want to play college football as bad as I originally thought I wanted to play. I wanted to stay with family more than go off to travel to play college ball. I had an okay career, thousand, close to a thousand yards rushing, a couple touchdowns, a couple fumbles, but definitely more regrets than anything. I think I had a lot of regrets about high school ball. I think I could have done a lot better. Um, I don't want to be one of those people that hold on to high school and think back to the glory days of high school because I think I am better than I was in high school from a person perspective, from an athlete perspective. But most washed up jocks or people who have just gotten out of high school know that there is nothing like suiting up pads and a helmet under the high school lights or any other, um, in a, any other level of football. And so I do have my regrets when it comes to playing full contact 11 on 11 football. And so over the past year or so, I've been playing adult flag football, meeting with some guys, and that has been fun. It's gotten my competitive energy out there and it's allowed me to play confidently and stuff. Um, but a couple months ago, I saw that there was an open tryout for the Arizona Rattlers. And if you guys aren't aware, the Arizona Rattlers, they are one of the teams for the Indoor Football League, formerly the Arena Football League. And they have a 50 yard field. They play mostly in basketball arenas, but it's a pretty physical league and there's a lot of ex-college, ex-NFL, um, ex-CFL players that play in that Arena Football League. And there's a lot of players from Arena Ball that get signed by NFL teams and other professional leagues all around the world. So when I saw that there was an open tryout, I was thinking, okay, this is interesting. But never once was I thinking like, oh, okay, I'm not, I don't want, I want to make the team. This is the goal of this tryout was to make the team. My ultimate goal of trying out for the Arizona Rattlers was to see how I stacked up against other competition. So there were guys out there at that tryout that were six foot four, 210 pound guys that could run four five forties. There were guys who were, who were not quite at a certain level just because it was an open tryout, but there was a huge variety of guys and there were 91 guys at this tryout. And so, but the craziest thing was as I was driving to the tryout, as I was starting to warm up at the tryout, I was not nervous a single bit. I wasn't nervous because I knew what my intentions were going into the tryout. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little rundown of how the tryout went and I'll show you guys some clips of it. So we started out the tryout, we, we signed in, it was super cold and for Arizonans, 55 degrees is cold and it was 55 degrees and windy and me and my fiance were just freezing and the sign up period lasted for like a whole hour. It took us from eight to like nine o'clock just to sign up and just stand there and wait for the coaches to be ready to do the drills. Um, then we got into the middle of the field and we started our warm up. They, they, they started out by talking to us and, and they gave us a good rundown of what we were gonna do during the day, um, just to fly around and compete basically. Then we lined up for warm ups. Warm ups were pretty solid, um, a little weird. The, the biggest, the weirdest thing about the warm up was that we did dynamic stretching and then after the dynamic stretching, we did static stretching and most studies and, and my common belief towards the warm-up is you shouldn't do static stretching with the warm-up but uh, I respected what they did obviously and then after the warm-up we went right into 40-yard dashes and I'll show you guys it's a very bad clip of the 40-yard dashes my fiance and nobody other than the players and the coaches were allowed on the field so my fiance was filming through a chain link fence and there was a long line of guys so you really can't see how I started the 40 I don't know what my time is. They said that they were gonna email us with our times and our results and stuff, but they haven't emailed me yet. Uh, hopefully I wrote my email legibly on the paper. But anyway, the 40 went good. There were some guys that just could not get off the line. There were guys that were falling and tripping and stuff like that. There were guys that were probably nervous, but I feel like I was pretty 
put together with the way I started, the way I drove out. The wind was coming at me as I was running the 40, so I don't know if my time was that good. I may just be making excuses for a really poor time, but I think I ran pretty well. Um, then we had the 5105 shuttle, and this one I was more nervous about because I did not work on it as much on my own as I did the 40 and sprinting. And so I did okay. I think I touched both lines like the coaches were instructing. I turned my hips really well, broke down pretty well, but we only got one shot. One shot at the 40, one shot at the 5105 shuttle. So if you tripped and fell, that was it. You didn't get a number. And so after the 40 and the 5105 shuttle, we broke into positions. And I was expecting, okay, cool, we'll do some running back specific drills. Previously, when I had tried out for ASU my freshman year at ASU, we'd, we broke off into running backs and we did some step overs and some change of direction and some ball security drills. But at this tryout, they lumped the running backs with the receivers, which I wasn't, I was a little upset about, but not too upset about. I'm an okay route runner, I think. But I was really looking forward to being able to show off my skills because I have been working on my running back specific skills more so. But we ran routes, I dropped a few passes, I caught a few passes, I think I ran really crisp routes, and it was definitely interesting getting used to the motion because in arena football you can motion towards the line at the snap of the ball. And when the coaches were talking about that, most of us did not know what that meant because none of us had played arena football before. But once we got the hang of it, we were jolting up towards the line and then the quarterback would say hike basically as we passed the ball and then we'd get a running start into our route, which makes it pretty hard to defend. Um, but I liked doing that. Then we did one-on-ones and this is where kind of, it kind of got a little toxic out there for one-on-ones. I love the competition aspect of ones. I'm just not a route runner. But also I think there were some quarterbacks out there that just wanted to throw to their friends. And then there were some quarterbacks that were just not as good as the other quarterbacks. And so it really got to the point where there was really no line to the one-on-ones. There were just people cutting and trying to get with the quarterbacks that they wanted to get with. I only got one rep in ones and I won. I got, uh, it was a deep post route. Uh, then from there, I was just kind of a bystander for the last like 20 minutes. And then that was the end. The end. And so they broke us out. It was good. It was about a three and a half hour event. It was fun. Um, I think I accomplished what I was looking for from this tryout. And what I was looking for was just to see how I stacked up. I didn't want to suck. That was like the main thing. Like, I don't want to be the guy that was like back when I was in seventh grade, I tried out for the basketball team. I was last in the dribble lines. I was last in the sprints. I didn't want to be that guy that got that pity clap from the rest of the guys just because I was last. Uh, I was not the worst, I did not suck. I definitely think I was in the upper tier of guys. Um, there were guys out there that seemingly did not prepare for this. I, it, I showed that I prepared and I was right up there with some of those top guys in the group. Was I as fast or as tall or as big or as, as experienced as them? Absolutely not. But I do think that I had that kind of intangible like knowledge and that preparation that I put into it. So I'm proud of myself. I don't want to make the team. I didn't want to make the team, but I accomplished what I set out to do. And that was to see where I was at compared to everybody else. So what am I going to do next? Well, I've joined another five, uh, another flag football team and I'm going to run with them for the next several weeks. And I'm going to continue to train on my own because I want to get my speed up past 22 miles an hour, maybe creep towards 23, but that means I'm going to have to lose a little bit more weight, break, uh, get myself down into the best shape that I could possibly get myself into. And I'm just going to hit the weight room really well. I'm going to hit my sprints really well. I do weekly hill sessions on Mondays. Um, I just want to stay in the best shape possible to stay ready for any opportunity that comes my way. Now, I don't think there's going to be any professional teams just reaching out to me because I have no college experience. But if I were to get the guts to go play semi-pro football or something, that could be a possibility in the future. I just know that I wanna make sure my body is ready for that. And I have a couple little injuries that I'm dealing with, but it's not outside of the realm of possibility. The only things that are stopping me from just full-fledgingly going into a, a semi-pro tackle football league is my fiance telling me, you need your body for your career, which is true, I'm a trainer, I need my legs to demonstrate to the kids that I train. 
I, I need to be healthy so I can be able to be out on the field for multiple hours at a time. Um, that's really the main thing that I'm worried about, but I do know that there's, there's at some point I want to right some wrongs and prove to myself that I still got it in like a full fledged tackle football environment. So one of these days you will see me padded up. I, I, I believe it. I can't guarantee it, but I believe that I will be padded up one day trying to go play ball again, running the football, uh, scoring touchdowns again. I really want to, it, I really want to, but we will have to see. It's not a guarantee at all. But I just wanted to take this video to kind of show you guys where my mind is at, uh, what I'm preparing to do a little bit more, and that's just to continue to train, continue to get myself better, faster, stronger, quicker, um, smarter about the game, smarter about training. And then we'll see if I go and attempt to go play somewhere else. Um, but that's it for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this just sit down and story time with me. Um, if you want to know more, uh, ask a comment down below in the comment section. I'd be happy to answer a question down there. But I hope this inspired you. I hope this kind of gets you to be uh, thinking about the multiple roads it, you can take to get to where you want to go. Because uh, the coaches said it best out at the indoor football tryout. It, like there's multiple roads. There's no, there's sometimes not a straight path. Some guys, yeah, you, you get five stars, you, you go to Alabama, you go to the NFL. Some guys, that's them. But other guys have to find back doors, they have to go through the arena league, they have to go through the CFL, and then they find their way to where they wanna go in the NFL. And so there's no straight path, but if there's a will, there's a way. And that's what I wanna kinda of share with you guys. If there's a will, there's a way. And I appreciate you guys watching this. Hit that like button if you liked this story. If you uh, want to watch more of my videos, there's some sit down videos like this. There's some drill videos. There's also short form content that I have on Instagram and TikTok where I show nice drills uh, that you can do on your own. But I appreciate you watching this and let's get better today.